Today I'm going to be milling out a waste board for my CNC. Uh, it's going to be a about 30, 30 and a half inches. I have a long mill 30 by 30. So this waste board will sit entirely inside of the cutting area for the, the router. Uh, this is the carbide create file that I created for milling this and it's got holes for threaded inserts spaced one and a half inches apart and then I've got nine holes that I can use to secure the waste board to my table. And I'm not going to take the time to let the whole thing play out but it will cover the all the different steps that I go through to get this done. Uh, what I would have done different as of right now is I have over 200 holes for threaded inserts and the this is actually flipped so what you're seeing here is the bottom and I if I were to do it again I would not only drill out those holes for the threaded inserts, but also drill a, a contour path right on the outside of those so that the threaded in inserts could be inset and flush. I take care of this manually when I go to insert them, but it would have been nice to have it all done at once. And there is a profile cut around the whole thing with tabs in it. This has my material set up at 32 inches. Like I said, the waste board is about 30 and a half, 30 and three eighths. And the MDF that I'm using is three quarter inch cut 34 by 34. And I'm going to use that frame to get some right angles that I can use later on. But now on to the cutting. What I have here is a scrap piece of plywood underneath the waste board that I'm going to be cutting out. Uh, I've just used a double tape and CA glue to hold that down. But this will keep the waste board up high enough. Everything's going to be a through cut, so I'm not concerned about it being level. It just has to be in the right spot, and it's level enough for that. The first thing we're going to do though is we're going to drill out the nine holes for mounting the waste board to the table. The table is going to have those nine holes drilled in it for threaded inserts so that it'll be flush and if I want to take the waste board off because I have the longer piece that I need to secure differently I can just unscrew those bolts and remove the waste board. And holes drilled we go to our pocket and start pocketing out all the threaded insert holes And this is coming to the end of the threaded insert holes. And that's going to finish up this part. Now, as I said at the beginning, I'm going to cut the whole waste board out of this 34 by 34 sheet of MDF. And it takes multiple passes with tabs. But now I've put some tape running corner to corner and an arrow of tape down the bottom right, just so I know that's going to be zero, zero when I flip it over. But these are the threaded inserts I'm going to use. And I'm actually going to start off spacing them every other one and get more threaded inserts on the bottom left 
through that diagonal and then space them out a little bit more as I get over to the other side as most of the stuff I'm going to be clamping down right now isn't going to take up all that room. Now this is where I'm putting the threaded inserts in and I did go back through with a countersink bit so that I could get the threaded inserts flush with what will be the bottom of the waste board. Now just a little sanding to take care of that. And now I can take the tape off and flip it over and deal with the top side. First thing is going to be cutting out the tabs to remove the excess around the waste board. With that done I've got a basically a scotch bright pad for my drill. And I'm just going to take care of the onion skin on the other side where the the bit came just to the bottom but not quite enough to get the hole cleared and then we'll be ready to see about mounting it to the table now I'm going to move it into place and use the CNC itself to line up the holes that it just drilled make sure I get the X and the Y exactly in line and square with how it cut it. That way I can be sure that anything I attach to it will be as well. And I do go back and forth making sure that everything's right forward, back, left and right. Once I get it in the spot that I need it, I'll drill some pilot holes, mark the table so I can remove the waste board and drill the holes for the threaded inserts. Now I use some tape to kind of guide me as to how deep I need to drill these, although in reality it doesn't really matter since it's going into the table, but I need to get these nine holes drilled so that I can secure the, the waste board to the table. I'll go through and countersink these as well so that they'll be flush with the top of the table. And after a little cleanup, it's time to put the threaded inserts into the table. The end is getting near. Now with the threaded inserts in there, I can put the waste board in. And for now I'm going to be putting in some screws that will stick up above the waste board. Since all of this is inside the milling area, I'm going to go back through and one hole at a time I'm going to pocket it out so I can inset these screws down below the threaded insert top. That way when I go to surface the waste board itself, I won't hit anything, but for now this will keep my wasteboard secured to the table and give me plenty of room in the center to work for now. <laughs> 